Hello everyone, my name is Cisco and today I'm gonna be teaching you, as you probably already know, how to calculate your daily calorie intake. For these purposes, as you can see behind me, we're going to be using the calculator which is built on my website. It is very very different than the most of the calculators you're going to find in internet and it's very very accurate. I'm using the same formulas with my clients, with myself and believe me, gives amazing amazing results. Let me show you how to use it. Let's hop on my laptop. Alright guys, we are already on my screen. The first thing we need to do is to put our nice amazing names and email where I'm gonna send you amazing information. Believe me, it is very helpful. Okay. And I probably will hide my email for some purposes. Oops, let's accept. Send. Oh, yes. What? Alright. The calculator. The first thing we need to do is to put our weights. My advice here would be when you're weighting yourself, do it early morning, after you wake up, I guess, without clothes, after toilets, because you probably have holded some fluids inside yourself. Okay, I weighed myself and this morning I was 73.7 kilograms. The second step is gonna be to put our body fat percentage. I know it's very hard to find it, and for these purposes, I will show you a photo of some people where you can see different body fat percentages. Don't take them as 100% accurate and believe me, I'm gonna make a video on how to take body fat percentage, which I'm probably gonna link down below or somewhere at some point. Okay, here are our body fat percentages. Um, I'm somewhere in between 11 and 13 at the moment because I'm bulking. I don't know where you are, I hope you're somewhere here between 1 and 7. But you probably won't need my calculator if you're there. Okay, let's go back to the calculator. So, here I'm gonna put 13. The next step is how long your workout is. Most of people will probably write down the whole thing. Do not count the time where you talk to the girls or the boys at the gym. You only have to count the time when you're active. Activity. Do not count your breaks. Here I'm gonna put 50 minutes because believe me, I do train very very long. The next step is how many times a week do you train? Myself, I usually, I actually, most of the time train five times a week. And the last step is to choose one. What do we wanna do? At this point I am bulking, but probably most of the people would want to cut some fat and look good. So we're gonna pick weight loss. And the next step is how many percent do you want to reduce weight? My advice here will be, let's hop again back to the body fat percentages. So my advice here would be, if you're somewhere here, you're somewhere here in between 11 and 19 you probably would want for example you're 19 you probably would want to reduce around 20% but if you're somewhere here between 20 and 40 as a man you probably would want to reduce with more and lose fat very quick because of some other purposes, which I'm gonna explain in other video. If you're a woman, it's, it applies exactly the same for you. Another thing I want to say here is that the essential body fat percentage for men 
it's between 9 and 15 so you're if you're somewhere over or under you probably would want to get in between this range for women it's between 14 and 25 it is advisable you don't have to but it is advisable to be in this range okay so myself I would reduce with not more than 20% so let me put 20 and calculate perfect my results okay my results here my maintenance intake the calories which I'm gonna save weight I will not gain or I will not lose any it are going to be on 2220 but if I want to lose weight my daily average calorie intake it's gonna be 1776 calories which is pretty pretty okay okay and the next thing and last do not take these calories as a law because at some point they will need to be changed it depends on what are your purposes if you want to lose weight they pro you probably have to reduce them or increase your activity in order to make more deficit or if you want to bulk and build some muscles Wherever it is very very possible to build muscles on calorie deficit if your training program is pretty well but this is another video yeah you will have to increase the calories gradually in order to bulk proper and the last thing is if you really really want to take your um, health as you can see here your health and build your training body you can book yourself a call or share my calculator in Facebook so more of your friends can benefit from using my calculator, lose some fat or build some muscles or do that things together. Thank you very much for watching me. I'm gonna leave a link under the video where you can find my calculator, my Instagram, my Facebook page and all this kind of stuff. Thank you for watching again, see you in my next video where I'm gonna talk about body fat percentage. So be sure to subscribe, like my video, love my video, <laughs> send it to friends. Alright, 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 I, I talk too much, see you guys.